We begin tonight with a picture-perfect splashdown. On board this SpaceX capsule, two astronauts whose trip to space ended up being much more than they signed up for. Their eight-day mission turning into nine long months. But tonight, after a 17-hour journey home, their capsule landing just before 6 p.m. And splashdown, Crew 9 back on Earth. As the SpaceX Dragon capsule returned tonight, splashing into the waters near Tallahassee, Florida, NASA's Mission Control in Houston erupted into cheers. On board, Sonny Williams and Butch Wilmore, whose eight-day journey into space lasted more than nine months. The two seemed minutes after being helped out of the capsule, waving and smiling as they were put on a stretcher. Their bodies adjusting to gravity and being back on Earth. Officials praising the mission. Of course, we're overjoyed. I, I watched every crew member come out of the vehicle today. Post landing, it was great to watch Nick, Sonny, Butch, and Alexander come out of Dragon and, and smile and wave as they came out of the vehicle. Prior to the departure, Williams and Wilmore waving goodbye to the International Space Station crew remaining behind. Their SpaceX capsule making its 17-hour flight home. The two remained in space for 286 days after the Boeing Starliner was sent back to Earth with no crew because the craft faced technical problems. They're working very hard on the ground to make sure that we uh, will be able to come home before too long. NASA said in an emergency scenario they could have gotten them out using one of the spacecrafts docked to the station, but were waiting for another crew to relieve them. Wilmore, who has two daughters, one in college and another in high school, talked about the toll of being away for so long. My daughters, I'm, I'm going to miss a, most of her senior year in high school. Williams, during her time in space, breaking the female record for most time on spacewalks, 62 hours and six minutes. Her family tonight, overjoyed. I'm very proud of her for being such a role model. I think she's inspired a lot of young girls all over the world. I think she's touched a lot of people. Two days ago, Williams and Wilmore greeting their new four-person replacement crew at the ISS. Now back on Earth, they'll go through a medical evaluation along with their fellow crew members before being reunited with their families. You know, this is going to be a big celebration. Mm -hmm. Williams and Wilmore, Commander Nick Haig, and a Russian cosmonaut are now being monitored at the Johnson Space Station, Space Center, rather, in Houston. Oh,